everyone. This is Hannah. I am doing a series called Story Time with Nana, which is the name my grandkids so lovingly have given me. I want to do this series for the children in Memphis because I think it is so important that they use their imagination and that their minds be open to new and magical things and for them to see some people just like me who are doing creative and wonderful and fun things that they can relate to. Please be sure to join us here on our YouTube channel to see Storytime with Nana every week. Bye bye. Welcome to Storytime with Nana Anna. Today, I'm going to read to you a really interesting story. It's called Goldilocks and the Three Bears. After the story, we are going to do an after conversation with Nana. Some things I want to share with you about the story that makes it really kind of interesting. Okay, but for now, let's enjoy the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Here we go! Once, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. Such a sweet child, said a stranger from far away. That's what you think, said a neighbor that knew her pretty well. One day, Goldilocks' mom asked her to go into the next village to buy muffins. Goldilocks' mom warned her, Don't take the shortcut through the forest. I'm told that there are three bears that live there. And Goldilocks promised, I won't, Mommy, I won't. But the truth is, Goldilocks was one of those very naughty little girls who did exactly what she wanted to do. Mm, that's not a great way to be. See, the signs are all there. Don't do that. Don't go that way. Don't go through that forest. You might want to turn back. You can't get any simpler than that. Warnings are all around. But she, Goldilocks, still did it what she wanted to do. Well, meanwhile, deep in the forest, in a clearing, in a charming little house of their own, lived a family of bears. And they had just sat down to preface. Look at their home. Isn't it charming? It is very lovely. It looks very clean and nice and neat and well kept. And you can tell somebody really loved the home. I hope that you have a home that you love, and if you love it, then you should take care of it and clean it and make it as nice as possible so you can call it not just a place to stay, but home. However, the bears, as they sit down to breakfast, Papa Bear takes this porridge and he said, boo -wee! This porridge is too hot. screams, and Mama Bear, who was a nice medium size, looked at them both and said, really? Now that is enough. So Papa Bear, coming to his senses, said, I know. Why don't we go for a spin while our porridge cools? And Mama Bear says, that's really an excellent idea. So a while away they rode on their rusty little bicycles. Oh, they're going out for a family ride. How sweet. Not long after the family of bears left their home, guess who walks up to the front door? Goldilocks. She opens the door and goes in without even knocking. Really? So she goes into the dining room and she thinks to herself, Okay, I'll help myself. She sees three bowls of porridge on the table. And she goes, thank you, I think I will. She tries the bowl of the biggest bowl of porridge. boo This porridge is too hot! And she spit it out of her mouth. She tries the second bowl and she says, this porridge is a little too cold. And she didn't eat that. 
But then Goldilocks saw the third bowl of porridge and she tasted it and it was just right. Not too hot, not too cold. She didn't just taste it, she ate it all up. She ate baby bear's porridge all up. Can you believe it? Oh my. Then, after she ate the porridge, she decides that she would go into the house and look around, you know, just casually look around somebody else's house. So she sees all of this brown, thick fur, and she thinks to herself, oh, they must have kittens. Yeah, right. So she goes into the parlor. She says, I think I might. And she sits in the chair. She sees three chairs. She sits in the biggest chair first, and she goes, oh, oh. Is too big. Goldilocks just couldn't get comfortable in that. So she tries the another chair, Mama Bear's chair, and she says, This chair here is just a little too soft. And she can barely get out of it because it was so soft. But then Goldilocks sits in Baby Bear's chair, and it was just right not too hard, not too soft. And so she started rocking. And she rocked, and she rocked, and she rocked, and she rocked, and she rocked until she broke the chair all the pieces. Oh my, now she's destroyed Baby Bear's chair. Oh, really, Goldilocks? Oh boy. So after all of that rocking, she decides that I could use a nap. She decides that she could take a snooze in the Bear's house. So she goes upstairs and she sees three, three lovely bear beds. She goes to the first bed and she says, this bed is too big. The brass headboard is too big. She didn't like that bed. Then she goes to the mama bear's bed. Oh, she has a very nice bed. I like the canopy, don't you? And she sees it and she says, oh, this bed is too low. She didn't like it either, because it was, I guess, too low for her. Then she goes into Baby Bear's room. Look at Baby Bear's room. I hope your room looks like this. He's very creative. He's got all his toys and his thoughts, all kind of imaginative drawings on the wall, and somebody loves to read. Do you have books in your room? Do you take time out to read? Reading can be so much fun. And it helps you just use your imagination and go places you never could. Make sure you have books in your room so that you can read. But back to Goldilocks. So she sits and she lays in Baby Bear's bed. And before long, she finds herself slowly slipping off to sleep. Oh, in fact, she slept so sound that she did not hear the bears as they returned to their home. And boy, when they walked into their home, they were in for a big surprise. They went into the dining room and they saw their porridge. And Papa Bear says, somebody made it my porridge. And Mama Bear looks and says, I believe someone is spending my porridge too. And Baby Bear says, for him. So then, the bears go to the parlor. And Papa Bear sits in his chair and says, somebody been in my chair. And Mama Bear says, I believe you're right. Somebody's been in my chair too. And Baby Bear, he looks at his chair and he says, notices immediately said, somebody been up here in my bed. And Mama Bear says, I believe somebody has been in my bed too. And Baby Bear screams, And she 
just got up and she jumped out of the window before the bears could demand an explanation. And she ran and she ran and she ran. Well, I think she might have fell on her head jumping out that window. What do you think? <laughs> but she got out of there quick. And the papa bear says, who was that girl? And mama bear says, I don't know, but I hope we never see her again. And they never did. End of story. Yay! Welcome to After the Story. Today, after reading Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we're going to talk about some things that you may need to know that are shown in this very book. First of all, let's look at page one. I'm not going to go through every book, but I want you to remember these points, for they are very important. Goldilocks was described by someone who didn't know her very well as a sweet child. But those who knew her knew that she was very naughty. Okay? Do you know what it means to be naughty? Well, on the second page you see when Goldilocks' mom told her not to take a shortcut through the forest, she did it anyway. She went, she was disobedient. Do you know what it means to be disobedient? Disobedience means that you don't do what your mother and father tell you to do. And sometimes being disobedient can lead to very bad things. Disobedience can mean that you will get out there and get involved with the wrong people, find yourself on drugs, or find yourself with premature pregnancies. These are things that you don't want to happen. Say, no, Nana, I don't want these things to happen to me. No. So, parents usually tell children, because they love them, the right thing to do. It is your job as a child to listen, not to be naughty like Goldilocks. Don't be naughty like her. You want to be nice. You want to be nice and obedient, okay? Now, there's something else in the story I want you to know about Goldilocks' naughtiness. Perhaps when she came to this home, she was hungry. Do you know what it's like to be hungry? Well, we know that she went to town to get muffins, so maybe they needed some food in the house. And perhaps Goldilocks was hungry. But is it okay to go into other people's houses and take what you want when you're hungry? No. Absolutely not. In fact, that's called robbery. And you can go to jail for that. Or worse, you can get killed for it. When you're hungry, there are lots of things that you can do to make some money so that you can buy you something to eat if that's what you need. Let's think about some things we can do to make us some money so we can have something to eat. Let's think. Here's one. Maybe you could mow a lawn. You could borrow the neighbor's lawnmower and ask them if they would give you money to mow their lawn. Here's something else. Maybe you could wash their car. Lots of people want their clean cars clean, but all the time they don't just have money to wash them. You could wash it for five or ten dollars. This will give you money to buy you something to eat. Or maybe in the fall you could you could rake some leaves. There are so much things you could do to make money. You could carry people's groceries. You can make some money to have what you need so you will never have to be hungry. Okay? But to do like Goldilocks did is called robbery and stealing. And you don't want to do that. Never steal. You go to the store and there's something you want, candy or something, and your mom says no or she didn't have the money to give it. You don't take it. You just deal with it until you have money to buy it. <clears throat> Goldilocks was not a very nice child. You don't want to be like her. Not only did she break into the bear's house, remember? She ate up all their food. Oh my God. And she broke their furniture. She tore baby, poor baby bear's uh, chair up. She tore it up. You don't want to do that to anybody's house, even if you're just a guest. You don't go in and tear up people's stuff. That's a no-no. That makes you a very naughty person. So in the end, the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears is a very nice tale. But Goldilocks was a very naughty person. And I don't want you to ever be naughty. Never go into someone else's home and take what they have. 
Never go into anywhere and take what does not belong to you. Don't be like Goldilocks. Don't be naughty. Be nice. Bye, boys and girls.